Show me? All right. What I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve uh, this two-step equation. Now, we're just learning how to do two-step equations. So there's a couple things we need to keep on remembering about these two-step equations. First thing is we want to kind of do the reverse order of operations. Remember, order of operations start with, you know, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, and then add, subtract. So when we're doing reverse order of operations, we want to start looking at adding, subtracting first. So we want to look at undoing addition and subtraction first. So to do to undo them, we're going to have to use our inverse operations. I'm sorry? You are not going to do it. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is our inverse operations. So we a lot of times, you guys remember I circled the variable. For this problem, I'm going to circle the variable x. I'll circle the variable. What that is telling us is we're just not going to do anything to this variable. This variable is pinned. We're not going to touch it. So now when you see, well, all right, let's undo what? Undo addition and subtracting. Is there anything that's being added or subtracted to the variable? And you say, yes, it's being added by 4. So to undo addition, we have to use the inverse operation, which is subtract. Now you need to make sure you subtract on both sides because that's the property of equality of subtraction. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side, the equal <laughs> side. Therefore, 4 minus 4 gives you 0. We don't need to write 3x plus 0. All right. Then the next thing we need to look at is to say, all right, now what is happening to my variable? Well, my variable now is being multiplied. So to undo multiplication, the inverse operation would be division. Okay. So three divided by three is one. One times x is getting you x. Therefore, we look at this and we say, does three go into eight? No. So we're just going to leave this as an improper fraction. All right. And that is how you solve a two-step equation. Just remember to always undo addition and subtraction first by inverse operations, then undo multiplication and division by inverse operations. Bye.